so we are going to do a pour and as you can see I found this um, cute little sink strainer sort of looks like a sunflower but it's all black and you can see some um, holes in various spots so I figured why not play with that and I have something else I got today as well but I don't think we're gonna play with that today so we're gonna stick with this and I'm not using Floetrol or mixed medium I'm actually using Liquitex gloss medium in this can and I've um, mixed my paints fairly thin with a little bit of the pouring medium in it um, I've got uh, my white but it's satin enamel because I'm out of all other whites right now. And I have Golden's Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Gold in fine. I have their Turquoise. And it's just about water thin. I have Anthroquinone Blue. Interference Blue Fine, and I love this. It's got this beautiful iridescent-like color to it. Their Payne's Gray, again, Golden's also. I have a bunch of the fluid these days, and I'm really excited to use it. And this is Amsterdam's, oh, what is this called? Um, turquoise Green. So we're gonna play with that a bit and add that to the pour. But I don't think I want to add a lot of it because it seems to be, I think, opaque. And um, I want more of a translucent, maybe, pour. Um, so this would end up really making everything very opaque. And we'll just see how it works out. I'm gonna get a paper towel or two handy because this is, messy stuff. What I'm going to do first is remove this and I'm going to put a white base puddle here. It reminds me I need to get my torch. So it's very fluid like. It's off of here. Put my torch. And I'm going to sit this minus the one cat hair of course on it. There we go, right in the middle. I don't know what's gonna happen. Cute little design, who knows? Um, and go from there. We're just gonna play with it and see what we we get. All right, so put some white in the bottom. And come right in with some Interference blue. A little bit of the turquoise green. I'm just gonna let that sit right there. It's gonna be easier for me to grab when I need it. Some of the anthroquinone blue. I think I'll just put it in. It's gonna be dirty. It's obviously not gonna be layered. All I'm gonna use of that. I just used a lot of it and I don't think I wanted to do that. I'm gonna do a little more gold. We're gonna leave that as is. I don't think I need any more white in here, but we'll find out. And I'm just gonna pour in here. And maybe 
will do a little bit of a white. Now this is very fluid and I'm going to put this right over here. I feel like it needs a little bit of a flow extender here. this piece. Now I'm sure I should have painted my sides, but I'm okay with the way they are. Um, I'd forgotten <clears throat> that you sometimes have to do that when the paint is this thin. So. wiping off my hands so I can, my gloves that is, because Liquitex pouring medium is very sticky and I do not like the feeling. It's almost like it's, I don't know, strange, dirty. It's a weird feeling. Love it. I think I'm going to leave it just as is. This is so beautiful. And I'm really excited to see how this pans out. Get in this one corner. It's the only one that didn't get any paint on it. All right. Yay! 
All right, so um, let me bring you guys in so you can see the details on it. I'm really digging this piece. I'm very happy with it. Oh, it's so cool. All right, enough of that. Okay, let me bring you guys in. Okay, so the more I let it sit, the more it blew up because of the white paint, which is satin enamel. And I'm going to play a little, what I did was, um, I'm not using any of the white paint right now. I put all my colors in this cup, except for the gold and the interference. And I have this cute little hair dryer, handheld pink, you can see through it. Um, and this piece comes off and I got that right on Amazon. And I'm going to sort of play with some color in here and blow it around um, and go from there because I'm not really crazy about how this turned out. So I'm going to blow it around. I'm already getting white paint on here and I, so it's going to be loud for a minute. Definitely liking what this looks like. I want to bring this over here more. So I'm just going to bring in some of this color in here. I'm actually going to pour it and come in with a little bit of the leftover anthroquinone blue. I've had this all of five minutes and um, I'm already getting paint all over it. Um.
Okay, let's see. up in here all right so I drag this love that I feel like there's too much of a mix in here. And gotta bring in some more depth. white probably should have left well enough alone but now we're gonna play more almost like that's just too much white for that area and I don't know why I don't like it but
Okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna play with this any longer. Love the white all in here and then the darker areas up here. I don't know if I was on camera. My camera thing fell right before. So I hope I was. Maybe I'll do a little more down here, we'll see. But um, that's it for now, guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll bring you in after. Okay, so this did not end well with the original two pieces. You saw I redid some work on the piece a second time, but what you didn't see was this time. And I love this piece because it's just an explosion of iridescence and gold and everything wonderful about it. Um, I took the hairdryer to it. All I did was just slosh paint on there, layers of it, of the same colors that I was using, and I just blew it all out um, with some, you know, small areas that I worked on separately. Um, but I like this version better than the first one because it became too cloudy because I used the satin enamel because I'm out of white paint. Um, but it's being shipped, so that's good, and it's on its way. Um, but, yeah, so this is the end result, and I love it. I wish um, I wish you guys could see the iridescent. Um, is it iridescent? No, the uh, interference blue, which is, like, right in here. And it, like, changes colors and does all that crazy stuff the interference paints do. So as you can see in this area, when you get them close, yeah. Anywho, I love that little hair dryer. Thank you, Michelle, um, for uh, sending me the link for it. And uh, thank you, Mina, for telling me I should take a hair dryer to it. Um, so that's, that's all I have for now. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.